Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming to this channel. I really do appreciate it. This is a channel where we encourage girls to pursue science and technology. This is where we showcase other role models that are pursuing STEM. This is where we also encourage these young girls to venture into different types of uh, STEM disciplines. There are so many types of engineering. There are so many types of healthcare professionals. There are so many types of technologies, just so many things that these kids can venture into. So this is Girls for STEM, but we also encourage men, boys. And the reason why we say Girls for STEM, because there are so few women in STEM, rather than that, this is a platform uh, for everybody to just get so encouraged, especially young ones. So today, guys, we have an interesting topic that we're going to discuss. Today, we'll be encouraging high school kids. So not only high school, before high school, high school and to, until into the university. How can you venture into STEM? How can you switch or how can you be interested in STEM or how can you stay? such that you can pursue science and technology. So I have some notes that I wrote for you guys. So when you see me looking down, I'll be looking on my notes that I wrote for you. So I'm going to start with before high school. What I wanna tell you is if you are just before high school, you're trying to get into high school, you need to get interested into mathematics. You need to get interested into English. You need to get interested into geography. So it's not the way you think when you hear anyone saying you need to get interested in math, you need to pass math. You just need to incline yourself into math. And remember, once you fail math, it doesn't mean that's the end of it. There is a fear about math that is not supposed to be there. It's a notion, it's something, a preconceived notion about mathematics. But once you get there, it's a very interesting subject. It has its, its own moments, but it's a very interesting subject that I promise you. So get interested to venture into math. Even if you're not doing well, just remember, be determined and stay there. Let's talk about English. English, the only way to make sure you can do well in English, you need to read a lot of stuff. Get interested in trying to understand how the world um, works around you. Interesting stories, even love stories. What matters is, can you comprehend the writing that's in the book? Could you summarize that uh, uh, writing that's in the book? So as you read many, many books, you start getting um, interested in reading. And if it's the first time you're having a hard time reading, read even one paragraph. Just read one paragraph, take your time, digest it and enjoy the topic or enjoy the story. So those are some of the things that you can make sure you can tune yourself to or direct yourself into. The other thing is geography. How do you get interested in geography? There's uh, so many ways of uh, getting interested in geography. On this channel, I've also made um, a, uh, a video talking about how you can encourage kids in the house and outside the house. So when I talk about geography, you need to also, and it's a science, but how can you be interested in geography? You have to be able to, uh, to be able to go outside and see the environment, how it, it is, where you live, how is it developed? You know, there are so many things. So when we talk about geography, geography uh, can, um, uh, can have roots in different types of sciences. So I'm talking about being outdoor going or being curious. And nowadays we are learning a lot from YouTube. I would like to say that you use YouTube wisely. YouTube has a lot of interesting scientific uh, education and also a lot of STEM education. Right now we are using YouTube. So YouTube is one of the resources that you can use a lot of geographical sciences, mathematics, and also English. When I say English, you can uh, listen to YouTube most in English. Uh, they're talking about, it could be stories, of course, educational stories. Uh, there are also times when we just wanna venture to look at other things 
which is okay, but make sure you're using YouTube wisely. So this is YouTube we're using here again. So, so those are the things that you can get interested when you are just before high school. I want to encourage you that do not be um, intimidated by those that really want to proclaim that they're in STEM and they make it so STEM and they make it so STEMinist. And you feel so scared and intimidated about STEM. And because you haven't gone to those STEM clubs, you have been joined into those robotics, that, that means you cannot study STEM. That's not the way. You have to have interest to also go into those clubs. But I urge you that if you can join the clubs, that will even be better. But yes, so make sure that you can join some of those clubs. But if you don't have access to these resources, it doesn't mean that's the end of you joining into STEM. I want to encourage you that during my high school, I never had those opportunities, but I had an interest in mathematics. I had an interest in uh, sciences not English, I wasn't interested. But later on in, in my years, you start getting interested. And I'll tell you something, once you tune yourself to align yourself to these subjects, things start falling in place. So don't expect everything to just come along the same time you uh, want to go into and you, everything around you, resources fall in place. Again, it comes back to determination. So we're talking about before high school. Let's go to uh, high school. Please, if you have any questions, mothers listening to this, please leave a comment below uh, so I can explain more and get into details, into details of uh, what I mean. So I just want to summarize again. Make sure you can um, uh, align yourself to do mathematics, get extra lessons, get a tutor um if you like youtube yes if you like youtube listen to youtube so the determination that's the one that's going to lead you to the next chapter if you're not doing well in english read a lot of books listen to a lot of podcasts uh, maybe stories you hear how people speak how they articulate how they express themselves and also reading books, you know, very exciting books that we have, uh, guys. The other thing is sciences. How do you get interested in sciences? Look around, look at the environment, look at what's going on, look at people wearing masks. Um, why are they wearing masks? Are there vaccines? Get interested, go read about vaccines. You know, there's so many things that can lead us to uh, start trying to understand science. Uh, geography is your surrounding around you. Um, things that you can do around you, think, places that you can visit, museums, a lot of things. So those things can align you to start loving sciences and then you can start liking science more. So those are the encourage, uh, encouragements that I wanted to give before high school. Let's talk about after you have a high school. Before we go that again, I wanted to summarize that just because you don't have this STEM activity, it doesn't mean it's the end of um, liking mathematics or trying to understand mathematics. So guys, thank you so much for listening for the first segment. And we're going to discuss about more after high school. How can you venture into STEM? when you're in high school or during high school. So guys, stay tuned. We just wanted to make sure this is only 10 minutes. So thank you so much for listening. <laughs>